Welcome to the most magical place in the Netherlands. Some people even call it the Dutch Disney World. If you guys are new here, my name is Sim and today we are at the Efteling theme park and I'm so excited to bring you guys along for this beautiful, magical day. Efteling is a fairy tale themed amusement park that opened as a fairy tale forest in 1952, so it's celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. When you walk through the entrance, it feels like you are a little kid again. But don't worry, the entertainment and the rides are also suited for adults. It also feels like you are in a completely different world, maybe even transported to a village in Middle Earth. I'm a big fantasy fan, so I really appreciated all the stories and the amount of detail put into each area and ride. Of course, every fairy tale needs a castle. This castle is also actually a ride called Symbolica. Another castle that might come to mind when seeing this is the Cinderella Castle at Disney World. I read online that Walt Disney apparently visited Efteling in the 50s, so he could definitely have drawn some inspiration from Efteling. I mean, who wouldn't feel inspired when they are surrounded by so many beautiful and exciting attractions? The park is obviously beautiful and the attention to detail is just amazing. But to be honest, the thing that I am most excited about is to do the roller coasters and rides. I just love doing that and I feel like I'm just going to be a little kid today and enjoy all of that. So let's go jump on our first ride for the day. First up is the Python. I feel like these loop roller coasters always have some type of snake name. The scariest part is definitely the two loops, but overall the ride goes by pretty quickly, so nothing too terrifying. This one on the other hand I actually gave a skip because I'm not a big fan of falling roller coasters. So we are moving on to Max and Moritz, which is a double roller coaster and it's based on a German story, so it includes a bunch of details from there. You will notice that a lot of the rides are actually based on children's stories. Next up is the Fliegende Hollander, which went very differently to what I expected. I don't want to spoil it, but just know this is not a relaxing cruise. This is Druemflecht, which everyone was telling us we had to do. It's one of the best rides and the queue was so long. Inside you ride on a cable car through fairy forests, so it's quite cute. There were honestly too many rides for us to get through it all, but I see that Efteling YouTube channel has videos of all their rides in first person view. So check that out if you want to see what the rides are like. The rides have been so fun and the vibes here are just so amazing. But to be honest, I am getting a bit low on energy. So I feel like I need to get some food. And usually I love food at theme parks because it's usually deep fried or covered in sugar, which is definitely my guilty pleasure. So let's go see what snacks we can find here at Efteling. Food wise, you have a couple of options to choose from. They are little takeaway cafes that are made up to look like village shops, which again just adds to the atmosphere. There are also sit down restaurants with menus or buffets like this one. We went to Bakarai Kramal, which looked like a quaint bakery where you can get different pastries, flatbread and also pizza, which is what I opted for. Also trying to stay hydrated while we walk around in the sun, so grab some flavored water. With my sweet tooth, I of course could not go to a theme park without going to the candy shop. All the colourful candy was so tempting, but in the end I decided to go with the ultimate theme park classic, cotton candy. The size of my head basically. Later on we also grabbed chipsticks as another snack. So Disney has the fireworks ride, while Efteling has the largest water fountain show in Europe. So we are heading over there now to end off our day with the show. Also, if you've noticed that I actually changed my shirt, earlier today a bird decided to poop right on me while I was drinking my water. It actually got into my water as well. So I decided to switch out my shirt because it looked disgusting. And at least now I have a Efteling souvenir shirt. So I guess it's not all bad. But overall, it's been such a wonderful day here and we are excited to see the last bit of magic.
unfortunately we are no longer at Efteling as you can obviously see we are now in the hotel room when we got back it was actually quite late so I was just too tired to film an outro because we had to get a bus a train and a bus again but it was definitely all worth it i had such a fun day it was so cool going on all the rides but also just walking around in the theme park it is huge we definitely didn't do everything but thank you so much for coming along with me i hope you also had a fun day out at efteling if you did enjoy the video please consider giving it a like down below to help support my channel and push this video up there i have some more exciting netherlands videos coming up so don't worry there's more coming soon thanks again for watching and then i will see you in a new video next week